Hey, good morning everybody. Blitzball Champs back here with a brand new video here on the U to the 2. So I'll be honest with y'all. I literally just woke up and I woke up to some breaking news. The Carolina Panthers have parted ways with general manager Marty Herney. I will also be sure to uh, share the link um, to the description box of this video. But, yeah, they let go of Marty Herney. Um, so apparently, just, you know, going by this article, um, Marty Herney was initially, his contract was supposed to run to, up to uh, June of 2021 and i honestly was kind of thinking he was gonna get let go at the end of the season but they decided to do it with two games left they they went on ahead and decided to pull this trigger and start looking for a new gm um and the article was talking about some of the things david tepper uh, the owner was saying he says and i quote I think sometimes you just need a restart, a refresh. We did it last year on the coaching side. Maybe you could say it should have been done before on the GM side. Maybe it should have been. I'm sure people may say that or otherwise on both sides. Um, I th think it's just time on both sides to do that. It just seems like the right move, the right time to move forward. Uh, some other things he said was um, you look at successful organizations and there's a certain alignment between the head coach and the GM. To think that you can do that without some sort of alignment is nuts. So to not have a head coach with some input into that is stupid. I don't want to be stupid, okay? So, uh, yeah. And... Apparently, you know, David Tepper knew, starting fresh, of course, with Coach Matt Rule, was going to be a long process. I mean, it is officially real big rebuilding stage. And he was apparently asked about the progress during a current 4-10 and 10 season. And Mr. Tepper said, and I quote, this team could easily have another four wins. The eight games that we had the ball last to win or tie, seven to win, one to tie. If you went four of those games, you're in a totally different position right now with this young team. So looking at next year, I'm very hopeful where we will be and what we will do. And, you know, and I, I agree with them. I agree, you know, despite the rebuilding and such. We still had an opportunity in those eight games to come, to come out with wins, at least in half of them. You know, that's, that's the way you got to look at it. I mean, I understand not setting your expectations high. Like I said, my original prediction was 6 and 10. But that, that sure doesn't mean that, you know, that I don't hope to be wrong in that prediction and we end up with a better record you know and i'm sure i'm sure anybody else would want that as well but you know what's happened has happened and this is kind of a way you know they hit the reset button on the on the coaching now they hit the reset button on the general manager uh but you know what? You know, we got to we got to also look at what Marty Herney has done. You know, I I wouldn't say I wouldn't say he was a terrible GM. You know, could have been worse. I honestly wasn't too fond of uh David Gettleman to be honest with you. But I mean, you got to look at uh the players, you know, that he helped drafted, you know, Cam Newton, 
Luke Keekley, Thomas Davis. You know, and look look what they've become. You know? So Mar Marty Herney has done some some good work. You know, I got I gotta you gotta give him gotta give him some credit. You know, he does pretty well when it comes to, you know, drafting. Now, free agency, uh he could have definitely been better. But you know, he's he's made some decent moves. You know? He's made some decent moves. And I'm not gonna say that that Marty Herney was a was a terrible GM. I, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't dare say that. Am I surprised by this move? I'm surprised that it happened now instead of maybe at the end of the season. And like Mr. Tepper said, you know, maybe it was something he should have done before the beginning of this season, you know, new coach and new GM. But only thing they could do is learn from this. It's the only thing they can really do is learn from this. But um, the process is starting uh, for the search for a new general manager, pretty much as we speak. Um, no candidates have been named, but apparently Mr. Tepper has some, some candidates in mind. Just nothing's been shared. But um, I'm not I'm not too savvy on my general managers. But uh, heck, what do y'all think the Carolina Panthers should should go for as their new general manager? Hmm? What do what do you, what do y'all think they should go for? Because like I said, I I don't really know much about general, you know, famous general managers, but, um, but yeah, what do y'all think? Um, but yeah, this will also be really interesting, you know, how this will affect, uh, the draft for next year, free agency, you know, fresh GM, you know, this, this is, you know, another fresh start. That's, that's one way to definitely look at this. Is, is another fresh start. And, you know, Mr. Tepper wants to win now. I mean, that's definitely clear that he wants to win now. And, you know, it's just going to take, it's going to take the right pieces being put into place. You know, the right moves are going to have to be made. But, I mean... Who who's who's to say that you know more layoffs or whatnot ain't on their way? You know maybe to you know see what happens with how this roster gets retooled. You know among other things, but you know when it came down to discussions between Mr. Tepper and and Mr. Herney. Seems that apparently there were just things that they can't and weren't able to agree on. Which I feel like, you know, partly led to this. So, um... Oh, man. We'll have to see what happens. We'll have to see what happens. But uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to share. Um, like I said, this this was the news that woke me up this morning. But yeah, Marty Herney out as Carolina Panthers general manager. The search begins. Like, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thank you for watching. I'm Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. Hope everybody has a blessed day. Peace.